right, here is the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou. Of course, he has challenged for UFC gold. He learned a lot in that fight against Stipe Miocic, but for my money, this is the biggest power threat, punch for punch, in the UFC today. It's unbelievable the amount of power that Francis Ngannou possesses. But as you said, he learned in the Miocic fight because how could he not be learning? He's only been fighting for about five, six years. So this guy is truly a blank canvas. Every day, he's getting better and better and better. And he's one of the guys that you can see that before long, he will be wearing the UFC heavyweight title. And he has certainly given back to his native Cameroon, founded the Francis Ngannou Foundation. They have opened a gym over there. But Ngannou still with a lot of work to do here in the Octagon. And that effort continues in earnest here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ngannou is two years the elder. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a 13-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the all right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come on. Striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, 
and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws. Oh! What a fantastic spread to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Ground and pound strike there now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. 25 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Scuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh! For certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, nice land there by Nermako. That up when he made wow. and potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, and still!